Today, I'm gonna to show you how to light your videos to look like a pro. Lighting is essential for all videos. Too many times I see filmmakers buying expensive cameras in an attempt to fix their poor lighting in their videos. A solid foundation for any film is good and appropriate lighting for the scene that you're getting ready to shoot. All right guys, so we are gonna start on my set here where I film all my talking head and my tutorials. Um, the advantage of lighting this kind of a scene is to be able to get a consistent uh, shot from a video to video to video. So all my shots have a continuity uh, that kind of helps the brand a little bit. So when the people see the set or the scene, they're like thinking, okay, that's VPN, it's Video Pro Now, or that's Bo Kellalong. So uh, if you remember the set of your favorite sitcom, the look of the TV program, is generally pretty consistent, like Jerry Seinfeld or Friends. They always seem like they came into the same room and it was always lit the same way. Well, the lighting is the same and it, w and it helps them to be able to produce many episodes without the additional cost of relighting each episode. And uh, this works for me too. I mean, it's the same concept. Uh, I'm at my edit desk right here with my computer and I've added accent lights in the back that are blue for interest. And then right here, I have a key light it's a small light that's just kind of shining on my face. It's nice and warm. And that particular light is actually bicolor, but I got it daylight adjusted right now. So it'll actually go more tungsten, which is a warmer color. And then on this side, I have a bounce and I'll lean it in just a touch. I'll show it to you in a little bit. But what this does is, is actually that key light pushes light into this white bounce. And then if I take it away, you'll see how dramatic my face gets. It's a little more dramatic. Not terribly, not, not a whole, whole lot, but that's, that's pretty much it. And then I'll drop it back in and I'm going to show you this in a second. And then uh, the light that's hitting uh, the back of my head is a hair light. And the purpose for a hair light is actually to separate me from the background. So you know what, I'm going to turn this hair light off and I'm going to turn these background lights off and you'll see me just kind of blend into the background a little bit more. All right. so. I've turned off that backlight, the hair light. Now you can see that I'm not being edged by that hair light. And I've turned the accent light off in the back. And so uh, I don't come off the background now. I'm not really separating off the background. And you can see that it did a great deal of work. So, and even if I remove this bounce now, I'm kind of deconstructing this, you know, piece by piece. So, you know, when I'm lighting a shot, see how dramatic, see how dramatic that looks. That's not horrible, but it could be better, right? So even if I turn that blue light, that accent light back there, you'll see how much better even with just that on. All right, guys, so now I've turned that light on in the background, and you can see I separate a little bit, but I'm kind of silhouetted, so you see kind of a hard silhouette because the background is lit. Now, if you see my eyes kind of going above right there, I'm actually looking at a monitor that's above my lens that allows me to be able to see what I've done in the background. So, but I'll try to focus on you guys because you guys are important and we're trying to learn here, but this is very simple lighting. It's very easy to do. You could do it actually really cost effective. You don't have to spend a lot of money for uh, the setup that I have. And I'll put a link below uh, uh, showing you the items that, oh, you know what? I'll do even better than that. I'll actually put images and a link uh, to give you options for being able to set up a lighting scenario that's just like this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna turn my hair light back on and I'm gonna turn this backlight off so that you can actually see the difference in what that looks like. All right, so now you see the hair light. It's, it's back on, you can see it on my shoulders, see it on the back of my hair and, uh, a little bit. And I get a little better separation that way, but um, the shot seems like it loses a little shape and a little depth because that wall back there is not lit. So to me, that's probably the best look in this scenario. Uh, it looks good, it kinda, you know, the blue is kind of cool, kind of techy looking, which really works for what we're doing. We're doing tech, cameras, you know, videos, lights and stuff. So, all right guys, so I'm gonna get it back on and all right. So I'm gonna uh, introduce this fill back in. All right guys, so we're back to the original lighting setup here. And um, 
I want to uh, remind you that whatever you're looking at from behind your camera or from behind your cell phone is actually what you get. And that's the beauty of video. If it looks too dark, then chances are it's probably too dark and vice versa. If it looks too bright, then it's probably a little too bright. So you have two options. You either take away light from here or you add light from here from your lighting or you do it from your camera setup. We'll be going over camera setups probably in the next video. Remember, don't get things over complicated in your head. Just practice. Set your lights out there, move them around, have fun with it, hit the record button and see what it looks like. Let's recap. I'm using four lights. One key light, one hair light, two accent lights in blue in the back, and they have gels on it. So I'll put a link below on where you can find the gels. Please shoot me any questions that you have or if you want me to go over certain situations that you come across in your video, then shoot me an email. If you haven't yet, please follow me or subscribe and hit the like button to get more knowledge on how you can use videos to build your brand and business. Peace.